Magnesium is an essential element in biological systems. Magnesium occurs typically as the Mg2 plus ion. It is an essential mineral nutrient i.e., element for life and is present in every cell type in every organism. For example, ATP adenosine triphosphate, the main source of energy in cells, must bind to a magnesium ion in order to be biologically active. What is called ATP is often actually MgATP. As such, magnesium plays a role in the stability of all polyphosphate compounds in the cells, including those associated with the synthesis of DNA and RNA. Over 300 enzymes require the presence of magnesium ions for their catalytic action, including all enzymes utilizing or synthesizing ATP, or those that use other nucleotides to synthesize DNA and RNA, site needed. In plants, magnesium is necessary for synthesis of chlorophyll and photosynthesis. Function A balance of magnesium is vital to the well-being of all organisms. Magnesium is a relatively abundant ion in Earth's crust and mantle and is highly bioavailable in the hydrosphere. This availability, in combination with a useful and very unusual chemistry, may have led to its utilization in evolution as an ion for signaling, enzyme activation, and catalysis. However, the unusual nature of ionic magnesium has also led to a major challenge in the use of the ion in biological systems. Biological membranes are impermeable to magnesium and other ions, so transport proteins must facilitate the flow of magnesium, both into and out of cells and intracellular compartments. Chlorophyll in plants converts water to oxygen as O2. Hemoglobin in vertebrate animals transports oxygen as O2 in the blood. Chlorophyll is very similar to hemoglobin, except magnesium is at the center of the chlorophyll molecule and iron is at the center of the hemoglobin molecule, with other variations. This process keeps living cells on Earth alive and maintains baseline levels of CO2 and O2 in our atmosphere. <laughs> Human health Inadequate magnesium intake frequently causes muscle spasms, and has been associated with cardiovascular disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, anxiety disorders, migraines, osteoporosis, and cerebral infarction. Acute deficiency is rare, and is more common as a drug side effect such as chronic alcohol or diuretic use than from low food intake per se, but it can occur in people fed intravenously for extended periods of time. The most common symptom of excess oral magnesium intake is diarrhea. Supplements based on amino acid chelates such as glycinate, lysinate etc. are much better tolerated by the digestive system and do not have the side effects of the older compounds used, while sustained release dietary supplements prevent the occurrence of diarrhea. Since the kidneys of adult humans excrete excess magnesium efficiently, oral magnesium poisoning in adults with normal renal function is very rare. Infants, which have less ability to excrete excess magnesium even when healthy, should not be given magnesium supplements, except under a physician's care. Pharmaceutical preparations with magnesium are used to treat conditions including magnesium deficiency and hypomagnesemia, as well as eclampsia. Such preparations are usually in the form of magnesium sulfate or chloride when given parenterally. Magnesium is absorbed with reasonable efficiency 30% to 40% by the body from any soluble magnesium salt, such as the chloride or citrate. Magnesium is similarly absorbed from Epsom salts, although the sulfate in these salts adds to their laxative effect at higher doses. Magnesium absorption from the insoluble oxide and hydroxide salts milk of magnesia is erratic and of poorer efficiency, since it depends on the neutralization and solution of the salt by the acid of the stomach, which may not be and usually is not complete. Magnesium orotate may be used as adjuvant therapy in patients on optimal treatment for severe congestive heart failure, increasing survival rate and improving clinical symptoms and patients' quality of life. Topic. Nerve conduction Magnesium can affect muscle relaxation through direct action on cell membranes. Mg2 plus ions close certain types of calcium channels, which conduct positively charged calcium ions into neurons. With an excess of magnesium, more channels will be blocked and nerve cells' activity will decrease. 
Topic: <laughs> Hypertension. Intravenous magnesium sulfate is used in treating preeclampsia. For other than pregnancy-related hypertension, a meta-analysis of 22 clinical trials with dose ranges of 120 to 973 mg per day and a mean dose of 410 mg, concluded that magnesium supplementation had a small but statistically significant effect, lowering systolic blood pressure by 3–4 mm Hg and diastolic blood pressure by 2–3 mm Hg. The effect was larger when the dose was more than 370 mg per day. <inaudible> Diabetes and glucose tolerance Higher dietary intakes of magnesium correspond to lower diabetes incidence. For people with diabetes or at high risk of diabetes, magnesium supplementation lowers fasting glucose. Dietary recommendations The U.S. Institute of Medicine updated estimated average requirements and recommended dietary allowances for magnesium in 1997. If there is not sufficient information to establish EARS and RDAs, an estimate designated adequate intake is used instead. The current ears for magnesium for women and men ages 31 and up are 265 mg per day and 350 mg per day, respectively. The RDAs are 320 and 420 mg per day. RDAs are higher than ears so as to identify amounts that will cover people with higher than average requirements. RDA for pregnancy is 350 to 400 mg per day depending on age of the woman. RDA for lactation ranges 310 to 360 mg per day for same reason. For children ages 1 to 13 years the RDA increases with age from 65 to 200 mg per day. As for safety, the IOM also sets tolerable upper intake levels for vitamins and minerals when evidence is sufficient. In the case of magnesium the UL is set at 350 mg per day. The UL is specific to magnesium consumed as a dietary supplement, the reason being that too much magnesium consumed at one time can cause diarrhea. The UL does not apply to food-sourced magnesium. Collectively the EARS, RDAs and ULs are referred to as dietary reference intakes. The European Food Safety Authority EFSA refers to the collective set of information as dietary reference values, with population reference intake PRI instead of RDA, an average requirement instead of EAR. AI and UL defined the same as in United States. For women and men ages 18 and older the AIs are set at 300 and 350 mg per day, respectively. AIs for pregnancy and lactation are also 300 mg per day. For children ages 1 to 17 years the AIs increase with age from 170 to 250 mg per day. These AIs are lower than the US RDAs. The European Food Safety Authority reviewed the same safety question and set its all at 250 mg per day, lower than the U.S. value. The magnesium UL is unique in that it is lower than some of the RDAs. It applies to intake from a pharmacological agent or dietary supplement only, and does not include intake from food and water. For U.S. food and dietary supplement labeling purposes the amount in a serving is expressed as a percent of daily value percent DV. For magnesium labeling purposes 100% of the daily value was 400 mg, but as of May 27, 2016, it was revised to 420 mg to bring it into agreement with the RDA. A table of the old and new adult daily values is provided at reference daily intake. Food and supplement companies have until January 1, 2020 to comply with the change. Food sources Green vegetables such as spinach provide magnesium because of the abundance of chlorophyll molecules, which contain the ion. Nuts especially Brazil nuts, cashews and almonds, seeds e.g., pumpkin seeds, dark chocolate, roasted soybeans, bran, and some whole grains are also good sources of magnesium. Although many foods contain magnesium, it is usually found in low levels. As with most nutrients, daily needs for magnesium are unlikely to be met by one serving of any single food. 
Eating a wide variety of fruits, vegetables, and grains will help ensure adequate intake of magnesium, because magnesium readily dissolves in water. Refined foods, which are often processed or cooked in water and dried, in general, are poor sources of the nutrient. For example, whole wheat bread has twice as much magnesium as white bread because the magnesium rich germ and bran are removed when white flour is processed. The table of food sources of magnesium suggests many dietary sources of magnesium. Hard water can also provide magnesium, but soft water contains less of the ion. Dietary surveys do not assess magnesium intake from water, which may lead to underestimating total magnesium intake and its variability. Too much magnesium may make it difficult for the body to absorb calcium. Not enough magnesium can lead to hypomagnesemia as described above, with irregular heartbeats, high blood pressure a sign in humans but not some experimental animals such as rodents, insomnia, and muscle spasms fasciculation. However, as noted, symptoms of low magnesium from pure dietary deficiency are thought to be rarely encountered. Following are some foods and the amount of magnesium in them. Pumpkin seeds, no hulls, one quarter cup equals 303 milligrams. Chia seeds, one quarter cup equals 162 milligrams. Buckwheat flour, one half cup equals 151 milligrams. Brazil nuts, one quarter cup equals 125 milligrams. Oat bran, raw, one half cup equals 110 milligrams. Cocoa powder, one quarter cup equals 107 milligrams. Halibut 3 ounces equals 103 milligrams. Almonds 1 quarter cup equals 99 milligrams. Cashews 1 quarter cup equals 89 milligrams. Whole wheat flour 1 half cup equals 83 milligrams. Spinach boiled 1 half cup equals 79 milligrams. Swiss chard boiled 1 half cup equals 75 milligrams. Chocolate, 70% cocoa, 1 ounce, equals 73 milligrams. Tofu, firm, 1 half cup, equals 73 milligrams. Black beans, boiled, 1 half cup, equals 60 milligrams. Quinoa, cooked, 1 half cup, equals 59 milligrams. Peanut butter, 2 tablespoons, equals 50 milligrams. Walnuts, 1 quarter cup, equals 46 milligrams. Sunflower seeds, hulled, one quarter cup, equals 41 milligrams. Chickpeas, boiled, one half cup, equals 39 milligrams. Kale, boiled, one half cup, equals 37 milligrams. Lentils, boiled, one half cup, equals 36 milligrams. Oatmeal, cooked, one half cup, equals 32 milligrams. Fish sauce, one tablespoon, equals 32 milligrams. Milk, non-fat, one cup, equals 27 milligrams. Coffee, espresso, one ounce, equals 24 milligrams. Whole wheat bread, one slice, equals 23 milligrams. Equals. Topic: Biological range, distribution, and regulation. Equals. In animals, it has been shown that different cell types maintain different concentrations of magnesium. It seems likely that the same is true for plants. This suggests that different cell types may regulate influx and efflux of magnesium in different ways based on their unique metabolic needs. Interstitial and systemic concentrations of free magnesium must be delicately maintained by the combined processes of buffering binding of ions to proteins and other molecules and muffling the transport of ions to storage or extracellular spaces. In plants, and more recently in animals, magnesium has been recognized as an important signaling ion, both activating and mediating many biochemical reactions. The best example of this is perhaps the regulation of carbon fixation in chloroplasts in the Calvin cycle. Magnesium is very important in cellular function. Deficiency of the nutrient causes disease of the affected organism. In single cell organisms such as bacteria and yeast, low levels of magnesium manifests in greatly reduced growth rates. In magnesium transport knockout strains of bacteria, healthy rates are maintained only with exposure to very high external concentrations of the ion. In yeast, mitochondrial magnesium deficiency also leads to disease. Plants deficient in magnesium show stress responses. The first observable signs of both magnesium starvation and overexposure in plants is a decrease in the rate of photosynthesis. 
This is due to the central position of the Mg2 plus ion in the chlorophyll molecule. The later effects of magnesium deficiency on plants are a significant reduction in growth and reproductive viability. Magnesium can also be toxic to plants, although this is typically seen only in drought conditions. In animals, magnesium deficiency hypomagnesemia is seen when the environmental availability of magnesium is low. In ruminant animals, particularly vulnerable to magnesium availability in pasture grasses, the condition is known as grass tetany. Hypomagnesemia is identified by a loss of balance due to muscle weakness. A number of genetically attributable hypomagnesemia disorders have also been identified in humans. Overexposure to magnesium may be toxic to individual cells, though these effects have been difficult to show experimentally. Hypermagnesemia, an overabundance of magnesium in the blood, is usually caused by loss of kidney function. Healthy animals rapidly excrete excess magnesium in the urine and stool. Urinary magnesium is called magnesuria. Characteristic concentrations of magnesium in model organisms are, in E. coli 30-100 um bound, 0.01-1 um free, in budding yeast 50 um, in mammalian cell 10 um bound, 0.5 um free, and in blood plasma 1 um. Topic: Biological chemistry. Mg2+ is the fourth most abundant metal ion in cells per moles and the most abundant free divalent cation. As a result, it is deeply and intrinsically woven into cellular metabolism. Indeed, Mg2+ dependent enzymes appear in virtually every metabolic pathway. Specific binding of Mg2+ to biological membranes is frequently observed. Mg2+ is also used as a signaling molecule, and much of nucleic acid biochemistry requires Mg2+, including all reactions that require release of energy from ATP. In nucleotides, the triple phosphate moiety of the compound is invariably stabilized by association with Mg2 plus in all enzymatic processes. Chlorophyll In photosynthetic organisms, Mg2 plus has the additional vital role of being the coordinating ion in the chlorophyll molecule. This role was discovered by Richard Willstatter, who received the Nobel Prize in Chemistry 1915 for the purification and structure of chlorophyll. Enzymes The chemistry of the Mg2 plus ion, as applied to enzymes, uses the full range of this ion's unusual reaction chemistry to fulfill a range of functions. Mg2 plus interacts with substrates, enzymes, and occasionally both Mg2 plus may form part of the active site. In general, Mg2 plus interacts with substrates through inner sphere coordination, stabilizing anions or reactive intermediates, also including binding to ATP and activating the molecule to nucleophilic attack. When interacting with enzymes and other proteins, Mg2 plus may bind using inner or outer sphere coordination, to either alter the conformation of the enzyme or take part in the chemistry of the catalytic reaction. In either case, because Mg2 plus is only rarely fully dehydrated during ligand binding, it may be a water molecule associated with the Mg2 plus that is important rather than the ion itself. The Lewis acidity of Mg2 plus pKa is used to allow both hydrolysis and condensation reactions most common ones being phosphate ester hydrolysis and phosphoryl transfer that would otherwise require pH values greatly removed from physiological values. <laughs> Essential role in the biological activity of ATP ATP adenosine triphosphate, the main source of energy in cells, must be bound to a magnesium ion in order to be biologically active. What is called ATP is often actually MgATP. <laughs> Nucleic acids Nucleic acids have an important range of interactions with Mg2+. The binding of Mg2 plus to DNA and RNA stabilizes structure, this can be observed in the increased melting temperature of double-stranded DNA in the presence of Mg2 plus. 
In addition, ribosomes contain large amounts of Mg2+, and the stabilization provided is essential to the complexation of this riboprotein. A large number of enzymes involved in the biochemistry of nucleic acids bind Mg2+ for activity, using the ion for both activation and catalysis. Finally, the autocatalysis of many ribozymes, enzymes containing only RNA, is Mg2+ dependent, e.g. the yeast mitochondrial group 2 self-splicing introns. Magnesium ions can be critical in maintaining the positional integrity of closely clustered phosphate groups. These clusters appear in numerous and distinct parts of the cell nucleus and cytoplasm. For instance, hexahydrated Mg2 plus ions bind in the deep major groove and at the outer mouth of A form nucleic acid duplexes. <laughs> cell membranes and walls Biological cell membranes and cell walls are polyanionic surfaces. This has important implications for the transport of ions, in particular because it has been shown that different membranes preferentially bind different ions. Both Mg2 plus and Ca2 plus regularly stabilize membranes by the cross-linking of carboxylated and phosphorylated head groups of lipids. However, the envelope membrane of E. coli has also been shown to bind Na+, K+, Minnesota 2 plus and Fe3 plus. The transport of ions is dependent on both the concentration gradient of the ion and the electric potential DPs across the membrane, which will be affected by the charge on the membrane surface. For example, the specific binding of Mg2 plus to the chloroplast envelope has been implicated in a loss of photosynthetic efficiency by the blockage of K plus uptake and the subsequent acidification of the chloroplast stroma. Proteins The Mg2 plus ion tends to bind only weakly to proteins and this can be exploited by the cell to switch enzymatic activity on and off by changes in the local concentration of Mg2 plus. Although the concentration of free cytoplasmic Mg2 plus is on the order of 1 mmol, L, the total Mg2 plus content of animal cells is 30 mmol, L and in plants the content of leaf endodermal cells has been measured at values as high as 100 mmol, L Stelzer et al., 1990, much of which buffered in storage compartments. The cytoplasmic concentration of free Mg2 plus is buffered by binding to chelators e.g., ATP, but also, what is more important, by storage of Mg2 plus in intracellular compartments. The transport of Mg2 plus between intracellular compartments may be a major part of regulating enzyme activity. The interaction of Mg2 plus with proteins must also be considered for the transport of the ion across biological membranes. Manganese In biological systems, only manganese Minnesota 2 is readily capable of replacing Mg2+, but only in a limited set of circumstances. Minnesota 2 is very similar to Mg2+, in terms of its chemical properties, including inner and outer shell complexation. Minnesota 2 effectively binds ATP and allows hydrolysis of the energy molecule by most atpases. Minnesota 2 plus can also replace Mg2 plus as the activating ion for a number of Mg2 plus dependent enzymes, although some enzyme activity is usually lost. Sometimes such enzyme metal preferences vary among closely related species, for example, the reverse transcriptase enzyme of lentiviruses like HIV, SIV and FIV is typically dependent on Mg2 plus, whereas the analogous enzyme for other retroviruses prefers Minnesota 2 plus. Importance in drug binding An article investigating the structural basis of interactions between clinically relevant antibiotics and the 50S ribosome appeared in Nature in October 2001. High-resolution X-ray crystallography established that these antibiotics associate only with the 23srRNA of a ribosomal subunit, and no interactions are formed with a subunit's protein portion. The article stresses that the results show the importance of putative Mg2 plus ions for the binding of some drugs. <laughs> 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 
Topic: <laughs> Measuring magnesium in biological samples. Topic: <laughs> By radioactive isotopes. The use of radioactive tracer elements in ion uptake assays allows the calculation of Km, Ki and Vmax and determines the initial change in the ion content of the cells. 28 mg decays by the emission of a high-energy beta or gamma particle, which can be measured using a scintillation counter. However, the radioactive half-life of 28 mg, the most stable of the radioactive magnesium isotopes, is only 21 hours. This severely restricts the experiments involving the nuclide. Also, since 1990, no facility has routinely produced 28 mg, and the price per MCI is now predicted to be approximately $30,000. The chemical nature of Mg2 plus is such that it is closely approximated by few other cations. However, Co2 plus, Minnesota 2 plus and Ni2 plus have been used successfully to mimic the properties of Mg2 plus in some enzyme reactions, and radioactive forms of these elements have been employed successfully in cation transport studies. The difficulty of using metal ion replacement in the study of enzyme function is that the relationship between the enzyme activities with the replacement ion compared to the original is very difficult to ascertain. Topic by fluorescent indicators A number of chelators of divalent cations have different fluorescence spectra in the bound and unbound states. Chelators for Ca2 plus are well established, have high affinity for the cation, and low interference from other ions. Mg2 plus chelators lag behind and the major fluorescence dye for Mg2 plus actually has a higher affinity for Ca2 plus. This limits the application of this dye to cell types where the resting level of Ca2 plus is. Bioelectrophysiology First, ion-specific microelectrodes can be used to measure the internal free ion concentration of cells and organelles. The major advantages are that readings can be made from cells over relatively long periods of time, and that unlike dyes very little extra ion buffering capacity is added to the cells. Second, the technique of two-electrode voltage clamp allows the direct measurement of the ion flux across the membrane of a cell. The membrane is held at an electric potential and the responding current is measured. All ions passing across the membrane contribute to the measured current. Third, the technique of patch clamp uses isolated sections of natural or artificial membrane in much the same manner as voltage clamp but without the secondary effects of a cellular system. Under ideal conditions the conductance of individual channels can be quantified. This methodology gives the most direct measurement of the action of ion channels. By absorption spectroscopy Flame Atomic Absorption Spectroscopy AAS determines the total magnesium content of a biological sample. This method is destructive, biological samples must be broken down in concentrated acids to avoid clogging the fine nebulizing apparatus. Beyond this, the only limitation is that samples must be in a volume of approximately 2 ml and at a concentration range of 0.1 to 0.4 micromole per liter for optimum accuracy. As this technique cannot distinguish between Mg2 plus already present in the cell and that taken up during the experiment, only content not uptaken can be quantified. Inductively coupled plasma ICP using either the mass spectrometry MS or atomic emission spectroscopy AES modifications also allows the determination of the total ion content of biological samples. These techniques are more sensitive than flame AAS and are capable of measuring the quantities of multiple ions simultaneously. However, they are also significantly more expensive. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Magnesium transport. The chemical and biochemical properties of Mg2+ present the cellular system with a significant challenge when transporting the ion across biological membranes. The dogma of ion transport states that the transporter recognizes the ion then progressively removes the water of hydration, removing most or all of the water at a selective pore before releasing the ion on the far side of the membrane. 
Due to the properties of Mg2+, large volume change from hydrated to bare ion, high energy of hydration and very low rate of ligand exchange in the inner coordination sphere, these steps are probably more difficult than for most other ions. To date, only the ZNTA protein of paramecium has been shown to be a Mg2 plus channel. The mechanisms of Mg2 plus transport by the remaining proteins are beginning to be uncovered with the first three-dimensional structure of a Mg2 plus transport complex being solved in 2004. The hydration shell of the Mg2 plus ion has a very tightly bound inner shell of six water molecules and a relatively tightly bound second shell containing 12 to 14 water molecules. Markham et al. 2002. Thus, it is presumed that recognition of the Mg2 plus ion requires some mechanism to interact initially with the hydration shell of Mg2 plus, followed by a direct recognition, binding of the ion to the protein. Due to the strength of the inner sphere complexation between Mg2 plus and any ligand, multiple simultaneous interactions with the transport protein at this level might significantly retard the ion in the transport pore. Hence, it is possible that much of the hydration water is retained during transport, allowing the weaker but still specific outer sphere coordination. In spite of the mechanistic difficulty, Mg2 plus must be transported across membranes, and a large number of Mg2 plus fluxes across membranes from a variety of systems have been described. However, only a small selection of Mg2 plus transporters have been characterized at the molecular level. Topic. Ligand ion channel blockade Magnesium ions Mg2 in cellular biology are usually in almost all senses opposite to Ca2 plus ions, because they are bivalent too, but have greater electronegativity and thus exert greater pull on water molecules, preventing passage through the channel even though the magnesium itself is smaller. Thus, Mg2 plus ions block Ca2 plus channels such as NMDA channels and have been shown to affect gap junction channels forming electrical synapses. <laughs> Plant physiology of magnesium The previous sections have dealt in detail with the chemical and biochemical aspects of Mg2 plus and its transport across cellular membranes. This section will apply this knowledge to aspects of whole plant physiology, in an attempt to show how these processes interact with the larger and more complex environment of the multicellular organism. Nutritional requirements and interactions Mg2 plus is essential for plant growth and is present in higher plants in amounts on the order of 80 mmol g-1 dry weight. The amounts of Mg2 plus vary in different parts of the plant and are dependent upon nutritional status. In times of plenty, excess Mg2 plus may be stored in vascular cells Stelzer et al., 1990, and in times of starvation Mg2 plus is redistributed. In many plants, from older to newer leaves, Mg2 plus is taken up into plants via the roots. Interactions with other cations in the rhizosphere can have a significant effect on the uptake of the ion. Kurvitz and Kirkby, 1980. The structure of root cell walls is highly permeable to water and ions, and hence ion uptake into root cells can occur anywhere from the root hairs to cells located almost in the center of the root, limited only by the Casparian strip. Plant cell walls and membranes carry a great number of negative charges, and the interactions of cations with these charges is key to the uptake of cations by root cells allowing a local concentrating effect. Mg2 plus binds relatively weakly to these charges, and can be displaced by other cations, impeding uptake and causing deficiency in the plant. Within individual plant cells, the Mg2 plus requirements are largely the same as for all cellular life. Mg2 plus is used to stabilize membranes, is vital to the utilization of ATP, is extensively involved in the nucleic acid biochemistry, and is a cofactor for many enzymes, including the ribosome. Also, Mg2 plus is the coordinating ion in the chlorophyll molecule. It is the intracellular compartmentalization of Mg2 plus in plant cells that leads to additional complexity. Four compartments within the plant cell have reported interactions with Mg2 plus. 
Initially, Mg2 plus will enter the cell into the cytoplasm by an as yet unidentified system, but free Mg2 plus concentrations in this compartment are tightly regulated at relatively low levels, approximately equals 2 mmol L, and so any excess Mg2 plus is either quickly exported or stored in the second intracellular compartment, the vacuole. The requirement for Mg2 plus in mitochondria has been demonstrated in yeast, and it seems highly likely that the same will apply in plants. The chloroplasts also require significant amounts of internal Mg2+, and low concentrations of cytoplasmic Mg2+. In addition, it seems likely that the other subcellular organelles e.g., Golgi, endoplasmic reticulum, etc. also require Mg2+. <laughs> Distributing magnesium ions within the plant Once in the cytoplasmic space of root cells Mg2+, along with the other cations, is probably transported radially into the steel and the vascular tissue. From the cells surrounding the xylem the ions are released or pumped into the xylem and carried up through the plant. In the case of Mg2+, which is highly mobile in both the xylem and phloem, the ions will be transported to the top of the plant and back down again in a continuous cycle of replenishment. Hence, uptake and release from vascular cells is probably a key part of whole plant Mg2 plus homeostasis. Figure 1 shows how few processes have been connected to their molecular mechanisms only vacuolar uptake has been associated with a transport protein, ATMHX. The diagram shows a schematic of a plant and the putative processes of Mg2 plus transport at the root and leaf where Mg2 plus is loaded and unloaded from the vascular tissues. Mg2 plus is taken up into the root cell wall space and interacts with the negative charges associated with the cell walls and membranes. Mg2 plus may be taken up into cells immediately or may travel as far as the Casparian band before being absorbed into cells the concentration of Mg2 plus in the root cells is probably buffered by storage in root cell vacuoles 3. Note that cells in the root tip do not contain vacuoles. Once in the root cell cytoplasm, Mg2 plus travels toward the center of the root by plasmodesmata, where it is loaded into the xylem 5 for transport to the upper parts of the plant. When the Mg2 plus reaches the leaves it is unloaded from the xylem into cells 6 and again is buffered in vacuoles 7. Whether cycling of Mg2 plus into the phloem occurs via general cells in the leaf 8 or directly from xylem to phloem via transfer cells 9 is unknown. Mg2 plus may return to the roots in the phloem sap. When a Mg2 plus ion has been absorbed by a cell requiring it for metabolic processes, it is generally assumed that the ion stays in that cell for as long as the cell is active. In vascular cells, this is not always the case. In times of plenty, Mg2 plus is stored in the vacuole, takes no part in the day-to-day -day metabolic processes of the cell Stelzer et al., 1990, and is released at need. But for most cells it is death by senescence or injury that releases Mg2 plus and many of the other ionic constituents, recycling them into healthy parts of the plant. In addition, when Mg2 plus in the environment is limiting, some species are able to mobilize Mg2 plus from older tissues. These processes involve the release of Mg2 plus from its bound and stored states and its transport back into the vascular tissue, where it can be distributed to the rest of the plant. In times of growth and development, Mg2 plus is also remobilized within the plant as source and sink relationships change. The homeostasis of Mg2 plus within single plant cells is maintained by processes occurring at the plasma membrane and at the vacuole membrane. See Figure 2. The major driving force for the translocation of ions in plant cells is delta pH. H plus atpases pump H plus ions against their concentration gradient to maintain the pH differential that can be used for the transport of other ions and molecules. H plus ions are pumped out of the cytoplasm into the extracellular space or into the vacuole. The entry of Mg2 plus into cells may occur through one of two pathways, via channels using the DPs negative inside across this membrane or by symport with H plus ions. To transport the Mg2 plus ion into the vacuole requires a Mg2 plus, H plus antiport transporter such as ATMHX. 
The H plus atpases are dependent on Mg2 plus bound to ATP for activity, so that Mg2 plus is required to maintain its own homeostasis. A schematic of a plant cell is shown including the four major compartments currently recognized as interacting with Mg2 plus. H plus atpases maintain a constant delta pH across the plasma membrane and the vacuole membrane. Mg2 plus is transported into the vacuole using the energy of delta pH in athaliana by ATMHX. Transport of Mg2 plus into cells may use either the negative dPs or the delta pH. The transport of Mg2 plus into mitochondria probably uses dPs as in the mitochondria of yeast, and it is likely that chloroplasts take Mg2 plus by a similar system. The mechanism and the molecular basis for the release of Mg2 plus from vacuoles and from the cell is not known. Likewise, the light regulated Mg2 plus concentration changes in chloroplasts are not fully understood, but do require the transport of H plus ions across the thylakoid membrane. Topic: Magnesium, chloroplasts, and photosynthesis. Mg2+ is the coordinating metal ion in the chlorophyll molecule, and in plants where the ion is in high supply, about 6% of the total Mg2+ is bound to chlorophyll. Thylakoid stacking is stabilized by Mg2+ and is important for the efficiency of photosynthesis, allowing phase transitions to occur. Mg2+ is probably taken up into chloroplasts to the greatest extent during the light-induced development from proplastid to chloroplast or etioplast to chloroplast. At these times, the synthesis of chlorophyll and the biogenesis of the thylakoid membrane stacks absolutely require the divalent cation, whether Mg2 plus is able to move into and out of chloroplasts after this initial developmental phase has been the subject of several conflicting reports. Deshaies et al. 1984 found that Mg2 plus did move in and out of isolated chloroplasts from young pea plants, but Gupta and Berkowitz 1989 were unable to reproduce the result using older spinach chloroplasts. Deshaies et al. had stated in their paper that older pea chloroplasts showed less significant changes in Mg2 plus content than those used to form their conclusions. The relative proportion of immature chloroplasts present in the preparations may explain these observations. The metabolic state of the chloroplast changes considerably between night and day. During the day, the chloroplast is actively harvesting the energy of light and converting it into chemical energy. The activation of the metabolic pathways involved comes from the changes in the chemical nature of the stroma on the addition of light. H plus is pumped out of the stroma into both the cytoplasm and the lumen leading to an alkaline pH. Mg2+ along with K+ is released from the lumen into the stroma in an electroneutralization process to balance the flow of H+. Finally, thiol groups on enzymes are reduced by a change in the redox state of the stroma. Examples of enzymes activated in response to these changes are fructose 1,6-bisphosphatase, cetahexylose bisphosphatase and ribulose 1,5-bisphosphate carboxylase. During the dark period, if these enzymes were active a wasteful cycling of products and substrates would occur. Two major classes of the enzymes that interact with Mg2 plus in the stroma during the light phase can be identified. Firstly, enzymes in the glycolytic pathway most often interact with two atoms of Mg2 plus. The first atom is as an allosteric modulator of the enzyme's activity, while the second forms part of the active site and is directly involved in the catalytic reaction. The second class of enzymes includes those where the Mg2 plus is complexed to nucleotide D and triphosphates ADP and ATP, and the chemical change involves phosphoryl transfer. Mg2 plus may also serve in a structural maintenance role in these enzymes, e.g., enolase. Topic: <laughs> Magnesium stress. Plant stress responses can be observed in plants that are under or oversupplied with Mg2+. The first observable signs of Mg2+ stress in plants for both starvation and toxicity is a depression of the rate of photosynthesis. It is presumed because of the strong relationships between Mg2+ and chloroplasts, chlorophyll. In pine trees, even before the visible appearance of yellowing and necrotic spots, the photosynthetic efficiency of the needles drops markedly. 
In Mg2 plus deficiency, reported secondary effects include carbohydrate immobility, loss of RNA transcription and loss of protein synthesis. However, due to the mobility of Mg2 plus within the plant, the deficiency phenotype may be present only in the older parts of the plant. For example, in Pinus radiata starved of Mg2 plus, one of the earliest identifying signs is the chlorosis in the needles on the lower branches of the tree. This is because Mg2 plus has been recovered from these tissues and moved to growing green needles higher in the tree. A Mg2 plus deficit can be caused by the lack of the ion in the media soil, but more commonly comes from inhibition of its uptake. Mg2 plus binds quite weakly to the negatively charged groups in the root cell walls, so that excesses of other cations such as K plus, NH4 plus, Ca2 plus, and Minnesota 2 plus can all impede uptake. Kurvitz and Kirkby, 1980. In acid soils, Al3 plus is a particularly strong inhibitor of Mg2 plus uptake. The inhibition by all 3 plus and Minnesota 2 plus is more severe than can be explained by simple displacement, hence it is possible that these ions bind to the Mg2 plus uptake system directly. In bacteria and yeast, such binding by Minnesota 2 plus has already been observed. Stress responses in the plant develop as cellular processes halt due to a lack of Mg2 plus e.g. maintenance of delta pH across the plasma and vacuole membranes. In Mg2 plus starved plants under low light conditions, the percentage of Mg2 plus bound to chlorophyll has been recorded at 50%. Presumably, this imbalance has detrimental effects on other cellular processes. Mg2 plus toxicity stress is more difficult to develop. When Mg2 plus is plentiful, in general the plants take up the ion and store it. Stelzer et al., 1990. However, if this is followed by drought then ionic concentrations within the cell can increase dramatically. High cytoplasmic Mg2 plus concentrations block a K-plus channel in the inner envelope membrane of the chloroplast, in turn inhibiting the removal of H-plus ions from the chloroplast stroma. This leads to an acidification of the stroma that inactivates key enzymes in carbon fixation, which all leads to the production of oxygen-free radicals in the chloroplast that then cause oxidative damage. See also Ion channels Myers cocktail Magnesium deficiency medicine Magnesium deficiency agriculture Calcium in biology Notes <laughs>